What's up YouTube? This is John Lee. Nice to see you guys again. And sorry about the background because I record this video in daytime. The skin tone looks like a bit dark, right? But it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna bring you guys to have a review on three pairs of Jordans which were released for the past three years. And these shoes have really excellent performance. Right, let's check it out. Boom! Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. It's a pair of Jordan 28. A black box with a bit wooden texture. I'm gonna open it. This is the last colorway of the 28 bamboo. Yeah, I'll never expect it, we made it by wood. Also, it's got two dust bags for your shoes. Boom! Air Jordan 28, released in 2013. All white colorway. I love clean shoes. I love bright shoes on the floor. But I actually really rare to wear that kind of bright shoes in daily life. And the zip. Yeah, where are those laces? That is one shoes in a has you a lot in a not how the nose here that is found out here. So we're putting the job. Look at the bottom, it goes quite far above your ankle. I'm not quite sure if it gives your ankle support enough, but at least it looks really cool. The overall design it's really postmodern and just like a glove. It's got two pieces of wood and the texture looks like bamboo with a German logo. And you know what? There's one thing I particularly like. There's only one obvious logo of the Jumpman, it's right here. If there's no Jumpman logo, I would just pick it up as my favorite Jordan shoes ever. And you see there's another Jumpman logo, 28 here. It's got a lot of carbon fiber on this shoe. This is a carbon fiber, also it's got it here. So let's just unzip it. The shoe tone is right here, and the shoe laces. But actually, there's a common problem. Um, I can say it's a manufacturer fault. It's got two zooms, I think. Yeah. This one would easily sponged out. So which means you got a waste of your money because if it's sponged out, that you couldn't wear these shoes for sports because you have no cautions and more. Like I'm only there to wear the old pair. 就是這裡的話,你可以搭出來。如果你是一個你買了一對鞋,你就覺得你想要用一對鞋,你就覺得你想要用一對鞋。工藝的出錯就是這個氣墊,它很容易鋪包,它很容易突出來。Boom! This is the 11 pen top. This is the 29. And this is the pack of the ultimate gift of flight. Released in December 2014. I remember. Boom! Yeah, Jordan 29, Ultimate Gift of Flight. Well, it comes with a pack, so... Um, obviously, the colorway is called Pantone. Right? When the time got to 2014, brought the laces back on the shoe. For the overall design, just pair of ordinary performance basketball shoes uh, but there's one thing that surprised me is the, the knit tear it's really soft but uh, it's not that durable I prefer find it on basketball shoes because it's just too soft it doesn't give enough protection and support Pusoyongo this is the shoe tone with the German logo and for Air Jordan 29 uh, it has different patterns of the surface this is just one of them you can see the texture it goes really smoothly like waves 
like water and the pattern of Kojun was changed it was arranged from left to right but this time it goes up and down then he changed this design to make it 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 它这次改设计的气垫呢，就不会这么容易掉出来。There's no carbon fiber all over the shoe, and the technology to prevent over twisting is called the fly plate. And you can see that, boom! This is the third pair. Air Jordan 30. You see, 30 three crosses. This is the first colorway. Release. Boom. Air Jordan 13. You see the shape, it's stiffer than the previous one to show. 29, right. So, overall, let's have a look at the shape. Get a bit lower over the back of your feet. Because Pyrrhus one goes like a bit like that, but this one goes straight down there. Three crosses, like 30. The support over ankle gets a little bit stronger. And the protection of your toes. It's not a really stiff fabric over the shoe toe. And I think this piece of plastic thing will give enough support and protection for your toes. There's a hidden German logo here. And there's an image on the shoe town. It is a map of Africa with the sunshine. This sort of Jordan 29 is plastic, but here it's soft. Also the infilling of this position around your upper ankle, it's much better and much stronger than 29. Do you like the colorway? The colorway from dark to bright. And there's a progression the bottom here also it's pretty similar I mean it's pretty the same as the Jordan 29's the texture doesn't go smoothly this time it goes really rough and the visual effect is really strong then let's see the shoe height of the shoe it's not like 29 it's more confident it's a bit more confident it's a bit more confident but this time it's a bit more confident 这个粗线条的底部可能会给你带来更多的摩擦力。You see this position? It, it, it is the connection between the front sole and the back sole, right? And there's no way to find out how they connect each other, which means they are made as a piece. In Jordan 29, there's a crack, which means the bottom consists with two different parts: the front sole and the back sole. But this time. The sole is made as one piece. So you can see this here, it doesn't look like Jordan 29 has a little bit of a lift. Jordan 29's design method is the front and the back. It's divided by two tools. But this one is the whole thing. You can see that this one doesn't have a lift. It means that the whole thing is one piece. And this time, the main technology that is used in the middle sole is called the Mesh Sole. And this time, the main technology that is used in the Mesh Sole is called Flight speed. Okay, let's do a comparison between 29 and 30. They are really good performance shoes on basketball. So, the bottom. So, overall, the design and the introduction. So which one do you prefer, the 30 or the 29? Actually, people complain about um, Nike make the same shoe as the one last year because they thought the 29 and the 30 are pretty much the same. I think half of just response to this one. What would you like to buy, Jordan 3, 4, 5? The midsole are pretty much the same. Also, Jordan brand does not want to make another shoe. They just want to make a better performance shoe. What are you buying your iPhones? The idea is that Jordan brand is not going to make a new shoe for the new shoe for the new shoe. 佢哋想每一年咧都將呢一對波鞋嘅性能
提升咁樣二十九對於 Westbrook 嚟講咧係非常之好嘅對波鞋，而佢哋只係需要稍微修改一下。那有人會投訴，為什麼 Jordan Brand 會做出一雙一模一樣鞋？其實不是，其實是 Jordan Brand 是想做出更高性能的篮球鞋，而並不是又推出另外一款新的科技版本的鞋子。而且 Westbrook 也不想面對這樣的情況。Please subscribe my channel for more and comment below the video. 唔該大家關注我嘅微博，仲有訂住我頻道。咁請大家訂閱我哋頻道，關注我嘅微博。Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.